Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime, where I post about skincare products I'm currently using. I also have a blog where I write in-depth skincare reviews, for which the link will be down below. In this video, I'll be swatching and providing my first impressions of products from the K-beauty brand Pyongang Yul. This includes their toner, moisture serum and moisture cream. I have already reviewed on the blog or swatched some other Pyongang Yul products already. I will leave the links to all of those down below. All three of these products are fragrance and essential oil free. I think Pyongang Yul have some hits and misses, but I can safely say that I like all three of these products a lot. Also, if you would like to support both the channel, Instagram and blog, then please consider becoming a patron today. There are different tiers with different benefits such as voting for product reviews and YouTube topics, as well as exclusive content and sneak peek access. Now let's get on with the video. First up is the Essence Toner. My full in-depth review of this product is on the blog. The link will be down below. This is actually a repurchase because I liked the toner so much. This is a gentle and lightweight toner. You can use it daily, in the AM and PM. I like this type of dispenser because it stops me from using too much product each go. This toner contains 91% milk vetch root extract, which is supposed to be skin conditioning and also soothing. And the main purpose of this toner is just to provide the skin with a lot of hydration. This has a very short and concise ingredients list, but it has some nice ingredients like butylin glycol and arginine. I like this because it's not so thin or so thick. It's right in the middle. As you can see when I apply it on my hand, the product still runs down, but it still has some thickness to it. And when rubbing it in, it doesn't disappear into the skin and feel like it's actually drying out my skin. It still feels like it's moisturizing the skin while absorbing very well. I like it because I don't have to hang around and wait too long for this to dry. I don't get any strong fragrance from this. It's very lightweight. It's easily spreadable along the skin and I don't seem to have any irritation with it. As you can see, this isn't sticky or tacky. It does feel like it's providing the skin with a drink of water. It's definitely hydrating. I would say that this is thicker than the Claire's Supple Preparation Toner, but it is thinner than the Hardalabo Premium Lotion. So it's somewhere in between. I think most skin types could use this because it's aimed at sensitive skins. And I think particularly oily or combination skins could enjoy this. Of course dry skins could use this if they layer this up with perhaps another toner or a thicker serum. But I have combination skin and I find that this texture and thickness is really nice for me without feeling too heavy. As you can see when applying on the skin, this doesn't look too thick or heavy. It simply gives the skin a nice shine, a hydrating shine. This doesn't make my skin feel like it can't breathe. And this is thin enough to either apply with your fingers or with a cotton pad. It genuinely is a hydrating product. And many of you on Instagram have told me how much you like this product. As you can see, it just doesn't take very long for this product to suck into the skin, but it doesn't mean that it's not hydrating it. And it makes it easy to move on to the next stage of the routine. Next up is the Moisture Serum. This comes in a glass bottle with a dropper. This serum contains Coptis Japonica root extract, which is supposed to soothe and hydrate the skin. This is meant to be a lightweight and easily spreadable and easily absorbing serum, which aims to provide the skin with moisture and nutrients. It's supposed to help the skin reach a good balance between moisture and oil. This contains mainly moisturizing ingredients or emollients. For instance, olive fruit oil and also caprylic triglyceride. This also contains arginine, a soothing ingredient, as well as butylin glycol, both a humectant and moisturizer. 
thereby overall improving the skin's complexion. You can see this is a really milky texture. As you can see, it's not running down my hand. This definitely is like a lightweight lotion or emulsion. I can tell it's loaded with ceramides in a moisturising and lightweight way. I definitely prefer this product over the moisture ampoule. The moisture ampoule was quite sticky and thick and gloopy. It felt like putting honey on my skin. I do think those living in hot and humid weathers may not prefer this kind of product. Unless you're using this as your moisturiser. But I think those living in dry weathers and those with dry skins would really enjoy this. Also, I get no weird smells from this either. You can definitely see a difference between the two. As you can see, the right hand definitely looks more shiny and moisturised compared to the left hand. I must say it's actually quite difficult to pick up an adequate amount of product using this dropper. I don't think it's the product, it's the dropper. It's not that good at picking up product. To me, this honestly just feels like a very lightweight moisturiser, like a lotion. It doesn't feel thick or heavy. I don't get any weird smells from this either. It genuinely feels really nice on the skin. Personally, I could use this to replace my moisturiser, especially in the AM. To me, this feels the most similar to the Laneige Cream Skin Refiner, which was aimed at dry skins. You can see the skin looks dewy and moisturised. Next up is the Moisture Cream. This comes in a glass jar. I believe there is also a Nutrition Cream, but I think that is much thicker than this product. This is an everyday moisturiser that is supposed to help make the skin look smooth and supple. It's a non-greasy yet lightweight moisturiser that absorbs easily into the skin and helps seal in moisture all day. Once again, this is fragrance free and is aimed at those with sensitive skins. This product contains Coptis japonica root extract which is the same thing that's in the serum. And once again, that's to help soothe irritated skin. This contains moisturizing ingredients like jojoba seed oil, shea butter, which gives it that creamy texture, as well as butylin glycol. As you can see, this is loaded with emollients, which really should help keep the skin moisturized. At first, when I saw this, I thought this would be a really greasy, heavy, oily cream. But I was actually quite surprised to see something so lightweight and quite milky looking. This is still a cream, I mean it doesn't run down my hand and it holds its shape. But look how easy it is to spread it around the skin. Although I still think that dry skins would prefer this over oily skins, I think combination skins could also enjoy this. Look, it's not sticky or tacky. It was quite close to something I swatched quite recently. The Propolis Light Cream from COSRX. It has quite a similar texture, although I would say this is slightly thicker. And this does take a little longer to absorb in the skin. Nonetheless, it doesn't make the skin feel like it's suffocating. As you can see, it's not providing a shine to the skin, but it's definitely moisturising the skin and not a shiny or dewy or greasy look. This actually really reminds me of the Dear Claire's moisturiser, so I definitely think that this is aimed more towards dry skins, especially dry sensitive skins. You can definitely see that this is a cream. It's not really lightweight like a water-based cream. It definitely still has some shape to it, some viscosity to it. But it doesn't mean that this is uncomfortable to wear. I think those with sensitive skins could use this. If anyone finds this product too thick for them, all you'd need to do if you want to thin out this product is mix it in with a serum or a toner. I hope you can see that the skin definitely looks moisturised. I think this could also make a really good makeup primer because it also smoothens the skin out, which is good for foundation application. And there you have it, those are the three products. I think these three products could easily make up a routine, particularly for dry skins, as the serum and the moisturiser are very emollient. 
The toner, I think, is suitable for all skin types. Once again, if you'd like to see my review of the toner, the link will be down below. I will be reviewing both the cream and the serum, so stay tuned for the blog. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe today for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!